Hello everyone, this is Testing Te. Today I'm going to be giving you the ultimate tutorial on ideas. Sorry that there's no fake accents. It's not a Linux tutorial, it's not a uh, Linux gaming and a weak machine, though I'm still using my weak machine. This is a Windows tutorial from Linux, how about that, huh? On ideas, the ideas emulator. We'll be using this game, yes you read that right, Pokemon White, USA version. I got that of the uh, card that I bought off Walmart for my DS Lite. So this is in no way illegal, for me at least. Anyway, why not no cache? Because honestly, the only good thing about no cache is its speed. Everything else, the audio, the graphical quality, the compatibility list just sucks. Why not this move? Because everything is perfect on this move except the speed. Especially on a weak machine like mine. I would still deal with it if it weren't for the fact that the uh, you can't really use the AVI capture option that it has in Linux because, well, there is none for it in Linux. I use it in Wine, but uh, that makes it even slower, like five minutes for the first few frames, which is all it captures in the AVI capture anyway. If I go through a whole cutscene, it won't get it just the first few frames. That sucks. Anyway, Ideas offers something in between. It's faster than this moon, better quality than no cache, and better compatibility list as well. And you can size it up and down naturally. While people do make plugins and codes for it to work on no cache, they're only doing it for the speed, and they don't really need to do that anyway because they have ideas available. Ideas is open source, by law of open source, it is free. And you can make your own plugins for it, add to it. That's how how all the best things start up and get learned about, like Linux and Blender. Anyway. And you see all the plugins that people have made for it already. They do have a latest one, 1 1.0.3.9, but do not download that. It's not what we're using. It won't work with those. I don't know why. But we're going to use 1.0.3.8. We can go ahead and download the audio plugin and the AFI capture plugin. You have other ones here, microphone, Wi-Fi, direct input, DS pad, Ace card, but we're not going to use those. Let's drag these to wherever you wish. All of this will work. For you in Windows. Despite the fact that I'm using Linux. Why am I not using the Linux ideas? Because ideas is native to Linux and Windows. Sorry, Mac. Anyway. Capital P, uh, capital I, N. I'm not sure if it's that specific for Windows, but it is in Linux, and I'm playing it safe. Anyway, again, why am I not using the Linux one? Well, because, to be honest, the Windows one works better. The sound is in sync, and you can open up the, uh, uh, the OpenGL that's in the properties, so you can fix some stuff. If I try that in Linux, it'll crash, and the sound is out of sync by, like, five seconds or so. It's just no fair that I need to fix that. So that's why I would. If I if they did fix that, then I would be using a fake accent, and that would be Linux gaming in a weak machine. But anyway, it's not. So this is what we're doing. I'm using my voice, so hopefully this won't take for freaking ever. I'm hoping I'm speaking clearly enough for you. It is cold down here, so I'm kind of mumbling. But anyway, open this up. Properties. See, it's working. No crash. Anyway, direct sound, mono, for best speed, synchronized for best quality. You may want to change this around a bit. I'm not sure. Your name, this will be the name that appears on the DS. I choose Loon, my gamer name, Austin Lane, don't take it please. And unless you want everything in Italian, go for it here and choose English. Uh, frame skip, I'll set that to, well, same max, because we're recording in full screen right now. Increase CPU speed, we're going to do that second time around. See, you can zoom up to times two, naturally, which is too big for my screen. So instead, we're going to go over to 1. Go over to key config, or to simplify it, just press Ctrl K. Set these to whatever you wish. I'm weird, so I've set to weird settings. So the arrow key should be fine if you're using the arrow keys. Now we're all done configuring. Close it so that it'll save it. If it crashes, we won't have to worry. And just to prove to you that it is working, because we're going to skip over to the uh, AVI capture in just a little bit, 
but to prove to you that it is working in version 1.0.3.8 you do need the audio plugin because Pokemon's like a sound activated game I don't know how, I don't know why, it just is if you do not have the sound plugin you'll press start and that's as far as you'll go it will stay stuck there because it's waiting for the audio to play so you see it is working, the gameplay works, everything works. Brilliant. Also, the compatibility is better in Windows for some reason. I don't know why. In the next one, after you press start to start the adventure, as in after you hope meet Professor Juniper and everything, it crashes there. It doesn't do that on Windows version for some reason. As you can see, I'm getting terrible FES, so I'm about to switch over to the Avi Capture plugin. But first, I'll explain to you how to properly use that. Over in Direct Sound Plugin, if you want to actually get audio, choose No Synchronize, but that doesn't work over in the while you're using Linux, Linux because it's running through Wine, so that doesn't work properly, but the video part does work well. Also, if you want best quality, you can enable all of these, but if at any point you see randomly huge and miss out of place objects or stuff, choose Direct Command, that's the only thing you need to enable. It will fix all of those. Alright. Also, for AVI capturing, choose none so that you get the smoothest possible video. Go to plugins, AVI capture. But it won't do it yet. You have to just pop one of these up, then click get out of there, and here you are. Out that AVI. Warning! Danger, Will Robinson! Do not enable compression, otherwise it won't properly work, last time I checked at least. You can't get audio, but again, you, have to choose, you gotta choose no synchronize for that. So I'm not gonna enable audio. Now, because you have no compression, means that you'll have a huge freaking file size, and you will, will have to compress it later. Keep that in mind. So compress it, that's for sure, for sure. But now we are recording. I press start, and because we have sound, it's working. Please excuse all the lag, I'm recording in full screen right now. Just going to do that small bit. So you see, it's fading out. If you didn't have the sound, it would just stay there. See, we're working. Anyway, that's as much as we're going to record, because I'm trying to keep this short and simple to the point. So disable AVI Capture. And I'm not sure if that finishes it, because if I try to enable it again and then pop one of these up, it won't work. So, what I like to do once I'm done recording, save if you haven't done so already, which you can save screenshot type thing by clicking F10. Then close it. Which, by the way, if you want to bring out that save file again, just click shift F7. Don't repair. Now VLC has this problem where it does that to the video. I'm not sure why, but it just does. But that's not what the video actually looks like. Anyway, you can see that it is clearly in perfect speed. Go over to some video editor to simplify, to get this to the point I choose open shot though. I actually prefer Cajun Live. I'm trying to get to learn that. Go over to desktop since you will have to compress this. Anyways. Not that heavy. You can see in the preview image there, it shows that it is. Hang on, hang on. Don't freak out. Test. Manage profile. Man manage test. We want. Ah, da, da, da. Test two. Third. Two fifty-seven. Uh, three ninety-eight. I'm not sure if that's right. Sixty. I think that's sixty. I'm not sure. Just randomly. Okay. 
apparently once you've done it once, you cannot do so again. So... Let me configure it! Darn it. Ah, uh, this is one of the reasons why I prefer King Live! 257... 398... 60 FPS. 60, you fool. I'm not sure if that worked, but... Hey. Let's see. Hey, stop it. Stop it. Yeah, that's not right working properly. Sorry, it's not its fault. And I will prove to you by using a different video editor that wasn't really meant to be a video editor, but it is anyways. Blender. Well, it does have some video editing in it available. Anyway. Add movie. I hope we're not going over the limit of YouTube. Alright. Can delete that since that's not working anyways. So we're going to end at 3.14. Go to default. 7 398 I think that's the right setting I don't know FES is 60 we'll say Xvid PCM so that will actually get audio and good quality too out will be test out AVI and I'll just render this first frame so you can see it is working it's working quite well now I'm going to stop this recording hoping that it will stay in YouTube's limits and hoping that we can talk a bit more with this type of stuff video showing you that it does work hello again people now we have the finished file converted, compressed, everything found out that it was really 263 by 400 I knew there was something fishy about the 2583 something anyway um, there are some graphical errors here and there See, for the most part, it's smooth. I'm going to explain all these errors to you because some of them are from ideas. We'll have to switch some settings around in order to get them to fix, and some, some of them you won't be able to fix, and some of them are because I'm running it through Ryan. I'm going to explain which one's which. By the way, as soon as I stopped this recording, Framescape immediately shot up. I was getting almost full speed with Framescape at 3 to 4, and that's on my older computer. And with while it was recording with the plugin, Avi Capture plugin, at no frame skip, I was getting around half speed. It was going slightly above, slightly below. My idea is just a decent emulator. It works very well. Anyway, if we start this video, you'll see the purple's probably just from the fact that I'm running it through Wine. But this flickering that you see is because I have frame skip on, set to 3 to 4. As soon as I switch it to none, we got this smooth video that you see here. When she goes inside, comes back out. This is an IDS emulator. You always get it, but don't worry, it passes quite quickly. You'll forget it was ever there. You see, the Avi Capture plugin worked quite well. Very smooth. This, right here, you didn't see before, it was always there. The reason you didn't see it before is because I had this enabled. As soon as I disenabled that, to show you I wasn't lying about it. You see this huge palm tree way out of place. Just enable the right commands and it will fix. See? Anyway. The black bar, I'm sure, is just because I was running it through one. Again, the blackness behind that is because I was running it through one. You see these if your computer doesn't support it too well. Which, if I'm right, your probably supports it better than mine. I'm sure that they probably show some sort of animation for the tackle and the leer. You won't see it in the video. I believe that's because I'm running it through Ryan. It could be from ideas. I don't know. But yeah, that's basically it. If you want max quality settings, of course, enable all of these. You may lag a bit more. 
But, yeah, that's it. That's all you need to know. CRS, comment, rate, subscribe. This is Testing Tear. See you next video.